jokes, thoughts, and plaids metal. It might take a while for this potion tutorial to settle. And let's add a custom potion, including a recipe, to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below. With over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. Oh, right, we're back to tell once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom potion, including a recipe to our Minecraft mod now. First and foremost, of course, this will require you to have added a custom effect, whether or not it's going to be the slimy effect, that is up to you, but it needs to be a custom effect added over here. And then we're basically good to go and adding a custom potion is super freaking simple. So in the tutorial mode package, we're going to right click new package called potion. Inside there, we'll make a new Java class called the mod potions class. Right here, we're going to have a public static void, and it's going to be the register potions method over here, where we'll once again call tutorialmod.logger.info, and we're going to say registering mod potions for tutorialmod.modid in this case. And once again, we're just going to call this over here so that we have this done register potions. And now we're going to need once again a helper method is a very straightforward, a private static registry entry of type potion from NetMinecraft potion over here, exactly called the register potion method with a string name parameter as well as a potion, potion parameter. There we go. I'm going to return registry, making sure we choose the one from NetMinecraft registry. Then we want to register the reference absolutely for registries.potion and then identifier dot of tutorial mod dot mod id passing in the name and then after the first closing parenthesis passing in the potion over here as well and that is going to be everything we're going to need now to register the potion super freaking simple public static final registry entry of type potion we're going to call this the slimy underscore potion equal to the register potion method slimy underscore potion right here the second parameter is a new potion and then here we're going to pass in a new status effect instance, as you can see, passing in mod effects dot slimy. Then you need a duration, let's say 1200 and a amplifier of zero in this case, because, well, I mean, number one, our potions are only one level, right? So level two or higher doesn't even really do anything. And the other thing would be that, and also this is the basic potion, so it does make sense to have it at a level like level one amplifier just adds to the level right so amplifier zero will give you level one and one would live give you level two that's the idea now when you add a potion what you're going to need is you need a very specific translation which is going to be a little bit weird but it's going to look kind of like this it's actually going to be an item translation so item.minecraft.potion and you can see splash potion and pose lingering potion as well and those basically all translate to the specific potion types. This is because the items associated with this potion are generated automatically and they will also automatically get added to the potions tab in the creative menu. So that all happens automatically. We basically don't need to do anything for that. The only thing we now need to do, well, that is add a custom recipe. And that one is super freaking simple like it's actually insane how simple it is we're going to go to our tutorial mod class over here and then in the on initialize method what we're simply going to do is we're going to call the fabric brewing recipe registry builder over here we're going to call dot build over here this is an event and then dot register and then here we can start typing in builder we can simply hit tab to autocomplete this and now inside of the curly brackets we can basically register the potions and the way that it looks is really simple builder.register potion recipe passing first of all in the potion that is the input so those are going to be the potions that you put at the bottom of the brewing stand this would be in this case potions.awkward then the item that is set in the top over slot that is going to be items slime ball and then we have mod potions that slimy potion and literally with this we've done it that's all we need to do for the potion recipe to work like I said, super simple, luckily, since I think in 1.21, it sort of changed a little bit. So that just makes it super freaking simple. And with this, I'm pretty sure we actually have everything we need. As crazy as it sounds, it is super simple. Adding a custom potion is really straightforward. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, we're back in Minecraft and let's take a look over here. I'm going to put 
some awkward potions in here, blaze powder in, and once I have my slime ball, I can put it in here, and you can see it starts to brew. Now, of course, it's going to take a while, but with the power of editing, almost at the finish line, and now we got some freaking slimy potions. Absolutely fantastic, and as you can see, it works exactly how we'd expect it to, and we get the slimy effect applied to us. I'm going to be real, that is so totally awesome, and that is custom potions added to Minecraft. Awesome. As per usual, all of the code is available down below, but that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add a custom painting. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.